Welcome back to the lecture video. I hope you learn how to use IRR and the rate functions from the previous example. Now I want you to try uh, by yourself by conducting the homework question to here. Pause this video and work on this homework question too by yourself and come back. Welcome back. Now we will learn how to calculate present worth, future worth, and annual worth when we have multiple alternatives. You can find this example uh, from your chapter six, uh, chapter six, example six dash two. Pause this video and play example five video now. Welcome back. Now, if you're familiar with the present worth, future worth, annual worth calculation. Solve spreadsheet exercise 6 68 by yourself for homework question 3. Now, pause this video, and once you're finished, come back. Welcome back. Now we are learn how to calculate nominal or effective interest rate. For effective uh, function calculates the effective annual interest rate. Nominal function calculates the annual nominal interest rate. Here is the formula for effective interest rate equal effect open bracket nominal rate comma NPERY and close bracket. Nominal rate is nominal interest rate per cash flow period and PERY is the number of compounding period per cash flow period. Here's the formula for nominal interest rate equal nominal open bracket effect rate comma ampere close bracket effect rate is the effective interest rate per cash flow period ampere is the number of compounding periods per cash flow period. Now let's try together with the example. Pause this video and play example 6 video now. Alright, welcome back. Now let's learn how to, uh, how to calculate the payback period by using the Excel. Pause this video and play example 7 video now. Welcome back. Hope you're now familiar with the uh, payback period method by using the Excel. Now Let's try by yourself for homework question 4. Pause this video here and work on it and come back. Welcome back. 
due to the uh, time constraint and I didn't want it to overwhelm you and I cannot cover all the analysis method using the Excel so the rest of the slide will show you uh, some of the example or some of the slides so that uh, you can try by yourself for uh, business cost analysis and depreciation analysis which you will learn uh, uh, you, which you learn in the past or which you will learn in the future first uh, benefit and cost analysis this is the the, the figure from example 10-7 I don't have example video here, but I want you to try to create this uh, Excel sheet um, by yourself. You were able to see the, all the functions that, that, that's uh, necessary to conduct the analysis. You have learned all the functions that you will need to calculate just uh, create this uh, table and try to calculate the benefit and cost ratio. Next, here are the, the depreciation functions. Uh, I thought I were able to cover this before the exam 2, but uh, due to the uh, time constraint. I was not able to cover that before this lecture, but I will introduce some of the func uh, depreciation functions here so that you can uh, try yourself in the future. First, SLN calculates the straight line depreciation of an asset of one period. SYD calculates the sum of years digit depreciation of an asset for a specified period. DB calculates the depreciation of an asset for a specified period using the fixed declining balance method. DDB calculates the depreciation of an asset for a specified period using the double declining balance method or uh, some other declining balance factor specified. Here you can see the depreciation functions for straight line depreciation SLN open bracket cost comma service comma life close bracket for sum of years digit depreciation SYD open bracket cost comma salvage comma life comma per close bracket for declining balance depreciation DDB open bracket cost comma service comma life comma period comma factor close bracket here, here are the depreciation variables cost mean asset cost basis Savage mean asset, uh, savage value at end of depreciation. Life equal number of period for depreciation recovery. Period or per equal the period for which the depreciation is being calculated. Factor equals the depreciation factor for the declining balance depreciations is it it is typically 1.5 or 2 if omitted 
the default is 2 for a double declining balance. Once I cover uh, the consideration of asset depreciation lecture, I want you to come back to this video and try to calculate uh, by calculate the uh, five year recovery period spreadsheet. Here you can see this is the figure 7-2 for DDS uh, recovery rate. Try yourself to recreate this table which will help you to learn uh, GDS recovery rate by using the Excel functions. Now, uh, go back and check the, all the homework questions that ha have uh, assigned for the homework 7. Make sure you complete all the example sheets as well as complete the uh, homework questions uh, sheets as well. This slide concludes uh, this lecture. If you have a question, please send me an email. And as I mentioned, since this is my first time uh, delivering a lecture through a video, I'm kind of nervous and seems made lots of lots of uh, mistake. But I hope you guys understand and be generous. I will try to improve this video if I retake it uh, in the uh, future, maybe in the uh, 2020. Thank you for your understanding and see you next week.